is Monday, June 10, 2019. I am Fire Bates with the ninth edition of News in Depth. Welcome and thank you for joining us. Here's what you need to know. Pensioner beaten and robbed by bandits succumbs to his injuries one month after. Here is this report. One month after being beaten and robbed by bandits, an elderly man has succumbed to his injuries at the New Amsterdam Hospital on Friday last. Gil Ferga Child, 77, was attacked by bandits at his Lot 53 Alness home last month. The elderly man and his wife, K. Mega Child, 71, were at home with their grandchildren when bandits attacked and robbed them of cash and other valuables. Speaking to this newscast, the man's wife said, after the bandits snatched all the money, they dragged her husband and started beating and kicking him to his stomach. The woman said they rushed her husband to the New Amsterdam Hospital after the bandits made their escape. Gil Ferd was admitted to the New Amsterdam Hospital last May, where he underwent two surgeries, after which he was admitted to the intensive care unit. He inside was very damaged, and um, the doctor says he's very strong because he still pu- pushed through for a whole month. And he was lying down there in the ICU for three weeks. And then um, one week he was out of the ICU and began to ward it. That we could have able to get a little more time with him and see how he, how he coping. But I know he praising God all the time and call on God to heal him. And the last breath when we went to Friday. He's still praying, and I tell him, uh, don't walk up your mouth because you're yarning. And if you want to if you feel tired, he said, yes, if you feel tired, if you want to sleep. That was the last word I say before I come home. And then in the night, about 10 past 10, and say so he died. The elderly woman said her husband was a very quiet and easygoing man and was never involved in problems with anyone. He did not complain. But the police to we police want to investigate, but um I don't I don't even ca- care what they say or whatever. But I will get justice from God. You hear? Me I'm, I ain't judging nobody. So What's the police, they're not doing anything. Because I don't know if know is who to, and then we don't want them to pick up wrong person. You understand? Mm-hmm. And he didn't want to give a statement when he when went there. He didn't give a statement because he said he didn't have time for that because he didn't feel good. So far, no one has been arrested for the incident, but police investigations are ongoing. More news on the other side of the break. Stay with us. The Ghana Elections Commission will commence house-to-house registration in your area soon. You must register if you are a Ghana citizen by birth, descent, naturalization, or registration. 14 years and older by the 31st of October 2019, a citizen of a Commonwealth country living in Guyana for a period of no less than one year preceding the qualifying date. If you were previously registered, you will need to register again. Look out for GCOM. Make it your responsibility to get registered. For more information, contact GCOM on 225-0277-9 or 223-9653. Email pro at gcom.org.gy. Contact the nearest GCOM registration office or visit our website, www.gcom.org.gy. Get your documents ready to be registered. Are you eligible to be registered during GCOM's house-to-house registration exercise? Then you must have either a birth certificate, a valid passport, naturalization certificate, or certificate of registration, adoption certificate. Married women may also be asked to present their marriage certificate. Individuals who had a name change, which is not stated on their birth certificate, must present a deed poll along with their original birth certificate. Get your documents ready now and prepare to be registered. If you were previously registered, you will need to be registered again. Be on the lookout. It is your right. Make it your responsibility. For more information, contact GCOM on 225-027729 or 223-9653. Email pro at gcom.org.gy. Contact your nearest GCOM registration office or visit our website www.gcom.org.gy. Shh! It's your new secret. The all-in-one 
weapon for perfecting imperfections and capturing flawless skin. A lot of brands forget women of color or just don't understand that we come in all shades. From caramel to ebony, there's such a range. Iman Cosmetics is for every woman and features a line of skincare products and cosmetics including 16 foundation shades, powder, concealer, lipstick, blush, eyeshadow, highlighter and BB cream. Visit us at Lot 75 Swamp Section, Rosal Town. That's behind the market. Or call 337-4422 or 688-9249. Shh. The Ghana Elections Commission will commence house-to-house -house registration in your area soon. You must register if you are a Guyanese citizen by birth, descent, naturalization, or registration. 14 years and older by the 31st of October 2019, a citizen of a Commonwealth country living in Guyana for a period of no less than one year preceding the qualifying date. If you were previously registered, you will need to register again. Look out for GCOM. Make it your responsibility to get registered. For more information, contact GCOM on 225-0277-9 or 223-9653. Email pro at gcom.org.gy. Contact the nearest GCOM registration office or visit our website, www.gcom.org.gy. Welcome back. Help pouring for mother of four living next to Barrow Lebron. Here is this report. There is an outpouring of love and support for 26-year-old Marissa China Ryan, a young mother of four who is living next to the Rose Hall Burial Ground with her four children. Marissa was forced to live here after the children's father walked out on them. Since her story was aired by this newscast, Marissa said she has received overwhelming support. Marissa says she's very much grateful to all the persons who have contacted her and have assisted her in every possible way. And we thank the Lord for everybody who's ever helped me and my children and who's ever calling and donate everything. We thank thankful and blessful also Tracy overseas. We thank for Sheeta because she given me a lot of help and also Farah. We thank them for everything because what people donate to me, we thank them out there. And thank every one of you for everything what you give to my children, school stuff, Russian stuff, everything. All in smiles, the woman said, the past few days have given her hope, since previously she could have barely provided for her children. Agricola Fatal, truck driver having sleepless nights, says a child's death is haunting him. Here is Rosin Drakes from the city with this report. Daniel welcomed the truck driver who was involved in that fatal accident at Agricola in which Sierra Benjamin was crushed to death, is very remorseful about the entire ordeal. The father of four, including a five-month-old baby, says the incident is haunting him and causing him sleepless nights. I see my, every time I see my daughter, I, I couldn't even speak to my daughter when I was in incarceration because it brings back memories. I couldn't speak to my daughter, I couldn't see her because every time I see her, I see a little child. So I just try my best to don't see her and just stay far from her a little bit because it keeps haunting me. Every day, at nights I can't sleep properly. I gotta drink in sleeping tablet. I can't eat properly. I gotta drink in soup. I can't eat. It's taking a toll on me right now, but it's not gonna wipe, wipe off season because I have girl children. I have children. He then offered his condolences to the grieving family and is hoping to meet them in person to offer his heartfelt condolences. My utmost apology that what happened, my condolences goes out to the dad, so I'm a dad too, I know how he's feeling, but my condolence go to his dad and his mom to know that this tragedy happened. And my humble apology that it happened. If I could talk about the answer time to reverse this from happening, I will do it in 100%. That's the most I can see. Welcome then gave his take on what transpired. It was coming from the sandpit from the south, southern side going to the north side. And I was on the outer lane. Again, I would say I was keeping my distance from the other vehicle. The Green Ice Taxi Service car, he was on the outer lane. And how I know it was a Green Ice Taxi Service car, I see when he come over to my lane. 
I spend it called my lane. But I know you got a mash bricks. I need mash bricks. And by these mash bricks, I hold. And I mash my bricks too, but it's weight they're carrying. Any, any truck that carrying weight, it would not dead stop. It take a while to stop. From connecting with the, with the, with the United Taxi Service, I take the media. But I didn't see anybody there. If I had seen the girl there, I would go straight to the car because a life doesn't come back, can't bring back a life. You can fix back a vehicle, but you can't take, fix back a life. Seven-year-old Sierra Benjamin was crushed by a truck on the East Bank Public Road in the vicinity of Agricola. Little Sierra and her aunt were standing near the medium waiting to cross the road when she was crushed by the truck, severing her body in two. She died on the spot. The truck driver is on station bail as the police continue their investigations into the accident. Get your documents ready to be registered. Are you eligible to be registered during GCOM's house-to-house -house registration exercise? Then you must have either a birth certificate, a valid passport, naturalization certificate or certificate of registration, adoption certificate. Married women may also be asked to present their marriage certificate. Individuals who had a name change, which is not stated on their birth certificate, must present a deed poll along with their original birth certificate. Get your documents ready now and prepare to be registered. If you were previously registered, you will need to be registered again. Be on the lookout. It is your right. Make it your responsibility. For more information, contact GCOM on 2250-27729 or 223-9653. Email pro at gcom.org.gy. Contact your nearest GCOM registration office or visit our website www.gcom.org.gy. The Ghana Elections Commission will commence house-to-house -house registration in your area soon. You must register if you are a Guyanese citizen by birth, descent, naturalization, or registration. 14 years and older by the 31st of October 2019, a citizen of a Commonwealth country living in Guyana for a period of no less than one year preceding the qualifying date. If you were previously registered, you will need to register again. Look out for GCOM. Make it your responsibility to get registered. For more information, contact GCOM on 225-0277-9 or 223-9653. Email pro at gcom.org.gy. Contact the nearest GCOM registration office or visit our website www.gcom.org.gy. And finally, two brave police ranks promoted. Here is Rice and Drake's with the details. The Ghana Police Force promoted two of its policemen who exercised bravery in the line of duty. The men, Corporal Clive Clark and Constable Mark Grimmon, were promoted on Friday by Police Commissioner Leslie James. Corporal Clark was shot during the Norton Street shootout between the police and bandits. In that incident, three bandits were killed by the police after they attempted to rob a construction worker. Constable Mark Grimmon was escorting the body of a U.S. missionary when the single-engine aircraft crash landed at the back of Canal No. 2 on the west bank of the Marara. The two incidents took place on Monday, February 18th and Thursday, 13th, May 2019, respectively. According to a release from the police, Corporal Clark, who has over 10 years of service and is stationed at the Brigham Police Station, was elevated to the rank of sergeant. The injured policeman said being promoted would only make his performance even greater. Constable Mark Grimmon, who is stationed at Itterim Bang, was promoted to corporal. The police release said the emotional Grimmon was very much elated for his promotion, having so far served the Ghana Police Force for eight years. Both ranks have been discharged from the hospital and are recuperating comfortably. Commissioner of Police Leslie James extended best wishes to the ranks and said that outstanding performances by ranks will always be rewarded by the Guyana Police Force. With that, we've come to the end of tonight's newscast. If you have a news story or tip, you can contact us on 666-4337 or 654-0523. You can also visit our website at www.rdproductiongy.com or Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Royce and Trace Production for more details on these and all the stories. Join us again tomorrow night for more news. I am Firebase. Good night. <laughs>